here Sunday at South by Southwest. We wanted to hear a little bit about what brings you to town and tell us about your startup. Uh, so I'm a speaker. I speak this morning about how creators in Latin America can create income and inclusion. And I came from Brazil. I built this startup. It's not a startup anymore that teaches people how to deal with their own money. So we create inclusion. We talk to 25 million people every month in Brazil. Wow. And now we are changing from a content-based uh, company <laughs> to a fintech, we call fintech tech because our goal is to impact people changing the way they deal with finances. So we are creating a, in a transactional platform using AI to show people what's the, the best product in financial market uh, in real time. Finpact Tech, you heard it yeah. here first, folks. That's a great term. We're going to be using that one. So <laughs> talk to us. You were telling us a little bit before the interview about the educational component of, of the company. What, what does that mean to you? Is it, is it like really a, a meaningful mission to the company to educate financial uh, literacy in the country, yeah. in Latin America? Yeah, I think it's for, for everyone because we were not prepared to deal with a so simple tool. Money is just a simple tool but it has a lot of behavior and um, emotions coming around and bias and uh, rumors that sometimes you, you get stressed thinking about money. But if you can take the stress out of the equation, uh, so this is what we do. And we also use entertainment to do this. So we create reality shows, we have a podcast, we have, um, uh, a lot of creators. I am a creator also, but I, I try to put a, more people inside the, our ecosystem so we have more voices talking about money in their own way. So the, the um, uh, financial literacy point, it's, it's the key that opens people's minds so they can not only learn but because money is, is a kind of second language. You, you, like English is your first language. Yeah. It's not mine, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but money, it was my, like my, my second language. I start with Portuguese and then with money. I saved okay. money since I was eight years old. So when you have this kind of fluence in, in money language, everything becomes easier. Definitely. Well, tell us a little bit. We're curious about different startup ecosystems. What is it like in Brazil? Were you raising uh, venture capital money to grow the startup? Was it more of a bootstrapped company? My company is a bootstrapped company. And uh, now, eight years after start, we are we will raise for the first time. We were very fortunate, very successful in the this first moment of of the company, and now we, we have to change the way we think and raise. Uh, raise some some money with impact uh, venture capitalists. This is the something different from what we we are doing, but all over the world is the same path for startups. So in Brazil is the same thing. There is this uh, very wealthy ecosystem, and it's starting to to grow. Like we like three years or four years ago, we were always looking outside, like, oh, the venture capital outside um, Brazil. And now we have a very strong uh, ecosystem of venture capital inside Brazil also. Yeah. Wonderful. And last question for you. Um, we understand that at less than 2% of venture capital funding goes to women. And so for our women listeners out there, what advice would you give them if they want to become a founder or maybe they want to get involved in the world of entrepreneurship? Yeah, first of all, we have to ask ourselves um, why, why is that? It, are we uh, putting our feet on entrepreneurship in startups or we are like men, the, the same, I don't know how many women are in the ecosystem. I don't know this 2% is because it's less uh, women than men or because like men in venture capital doesn't want to put money in women, uh, uh, corporate or, or 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 company maybe a little bit of both yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's not maybe. it's not all black and white <laughs> yes. but what but how yeah, yeah. how but would you inspire women to get into entrepreneurship uh, I would say 
um, we have all the tools and maybe more because uh, women have this kind of connection with the clients, which for me is the key to success, to be successful in your business. When you create something that, real, that really change people's lives, when you create something that it's not only to sell to a venture catalyst, it's not like a, a pyramid scheme, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Or a, a widget or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you are creating something that really have some value. And I think women have this kind of connection with other hearts, you know? It's like this sixth uh, sense that we have. And never be afraid of uh, put your value like uh, I I earn that and yes I am raising money and yes I will make a lot of money on that yes and I will become very rich yes you know yeah you don't have to be afraid of saying that uh, loudly and with this kind of freedom like it's okay to be rich bitch yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that we cut it cut it up <laughs>